Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Brittany Love and I will be unboxing my favorite witchy type box. Um, the Awakening in a Box and it is the Empowering Oracle Box and it is $35.58. Very weird price if you ask me. That's just what they had on the website. It ends up to be like $40 with shipping and handling. I do have a um, discount code for you and it is WELCOME10, W-E-L-C-O-M-E, one zero. Um, and I'm assuming you get 10% off your first subscription through awakening in a box they have four different options they have their awakening in a box I think that one's $14.99 and that I think you just get three crystals or stones and two um, I, I don't know if you get two objects with it like that are like themed around everything any object you get is supposed to be themed around like that month's theme or whatever um yeah so then there's the empowering tarot box which is the same price as this one i think or is it more i think it's the same price if not it's forty dollars um, the cheapest one is the $14.99 and then the next one up is like 20 something I think and then these two the one that I get and the empowering um, empowering tarot box um, are between 35 and 40 and then I'm pretty sure it's 35 I'm pretty sure it's the same thing as the empowering oracle box that I, I do receive and then the most expensive box is their enlightenment in a box and um that one is forty dollars and that I think you get like two rare or large expensive types of crystals or stones um and then like five normal whatever types of crystal or stones and then they give you some stuff that's like objects that are themed around that month's theme and um to help you like better in your craft and, and express your gifts and whatnot um but i really wanted to at first starting this i had no oracle box uh or 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 no oracle decks and now like i said this is my fourth box i'm going to be opening so i actually if you can see some in behind from behind me um the the numinous astro box deck i got last month beautiful beautiful deck i got the Oh, this is actually only my third. Huh. Yeah, this is only going to be my third Oracle deck. This is only my third box of Awakening in a box that I'll be opening. So, April um, or May, when May's come, that will be my fourth. But the first Evercole, ever Evercole, I just put Ever and Oracle together. The first Evercole deck I've ever had was the Animal Dreaming Oracle Um cards in the I just oh, 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 oh. all of the boxes so far I have received of um, cards the cards themselves also come with a descriptive book on the deck I'm hoping that is a theme for all Oracle decks because I don't want to have to go out and buy a book to have to read my deck, which is what I had to do for my Rider Walt um, 
original tarot cards just because I needed to learn how to read tarot cards and I that's my other books back there you can see I have the um, ultimate guide to tarot I have a few tarot um, guidebooks what have you and of course I have my Rider Wool deck which is my favorite and only tarot deck the original classic um I don't know I just my grandma this was the deck my grandma used that my my cards were read right on for the first time and that I just fell in love with and I just it's nostalgic I I can understand what is coming through before I even knew how to read cards. I'm still learning actually. I can't sit there and say I know how to because I'm still in the process of learning. Um, but I'm actually waiting on a cleansing, a smudge stick to come in because my, I mean, I guess I have a little, I have a little left of my sage, <clears throat> but, oh, my bag that you gave me last month is falling apart already. They're awakening in a box, people. Anyway, let's get to our box. Don't mind me. I don't know how the color's coming off. I have my black light on. It just helps me relax and feel you know I, I always do my readings with my black light on and my light off but I have to have a light on for you to be able to see what's in the box um oh ooh. oh let's close that actually because there's some flammable my instant went out, guys. Sorry. Okay. I really hate these things. I hate them so much with a passion. They make such a mess. They remind me of tinsel at Christmas and Easter baskets that make messes. Yeah, so I, I understand it's like you don't want to open up and just see everything all at once. Some people don't. I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me. I mean, I'm going to see it all in a minute anyway, you know. What bothers me is having a mess. I, I'm just 100% raw, like, it's, that's just my opinion, I mean, it doesn't have to be yours, I'm just saying, I mean, this could be fun for some people, I just feel like this is wasting trees, us witches are supposed to be with one with nature, so then let's not cut down our trees to put in our box. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, guys, okay? <clears throat> so, first thing I got, which is a bit of a shock to me, is a straw. Why is this in my awakening in a box? I wanted this. I've wanted one of these. I actually have a mini one, like a travel one, but like I, I'm happy, but I would think of getting this in something else. So let's see, which is this beautiful artwork. Um, it's the same person that draws these every month and they're beautiful. It's, um, Eli, I think is his name. Where's, um, 
Eli Valoroso. Follow his Instagram to see more amazing artwork at e slash v slash g y p s y gypsy. Just to let y'all know. Um, yeah, because look at that. I mean, I love, I don't think I have, why do I have one of them? I have one of his other drawings, which is gorgeous. Look at that. So, note from the curator, it always gives a little description on the back of the artwork. Welcome to April's Best of Empowering Oracle Box. This box contains one tarot deck, one, a tarot deck. Why? I got Oracle, not tarot. One crystal slash stone and two products. The deck included this month is the Fairy Godmother Oracle. Oh, okay, that's, okay, see, jump. I'm, I'm like so, like, I'm one of them people that I'm so precise where if I see something, I'm like, no, that's not, like, no, that's not what it is, so why are you saying it is? Um, yeah, and like have to prove people or make, like, I really am so bad with that. It like will be like a little bug in my head, like, why is that not right? And they're saying it is. Like, do they, do they not know? They have to know. It's bad. I hate it. I hate some of these mental health conditions that I have. I'm just saying. Anyone else out there going through mental health, especially more with this crisis going on, give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Tell me what else you guys are going through. Um, things that is going on in your life right now that's all even more chaotic in your head because of the crisis among us if you understood what I just said because I feel like I'm have I have a stuff <laughs> a bunch of stuff going on outside my window right now that I can hear and I'm like talking and listening and like doing things at the same time I'm sorry I will give you my full focus attention all of it I say I'll give you all my attention and then I start listening okay where was I the fairy godmother oracle this month Almost all of our distributors are currently closed due to the COVID-19. Luckily, we were we purchased this deck in advance before distributors closed their doors. So we were still able to put the new decks in our boxes. But for the crystal and, and products, we have decided to do something really fun and share with you some of our subscribers' favorite stones and products of the last few years. Okay, I got you. I got it. Now I got why I got a straw. Okay. Um. The products we have chosen are definitely some of our of our best and we hope you love them. If you have any questions about the items, please reach out. Normally our boxes contain informa informational <laughs> crystal cards that unfortunately were unable to put in the box due to the sheer amount of different stones that we have handpicked for each subscriber. If you would like a digital copy of the crystal card to match your stone, please reach out to us. We are doing our very best to stay positive and figure out how to keep our subscri subscribers happy during this time and we are so grateful for your understanding. Our distributors have let us know that they will be back open next month and we will be able to get back to our regular boxes. <laughs> okay, if you have any questions, please contact them at awakeninginabox at gmail.com or on Facebook or Instagram. 
thank you again for being a seeker of truth and enlightenment and of course being a part of awakening in a box light and love megan thanks megan for um trying to work with it and you know making it still you know i really can appreciate someone who doesn't just give up and who rolls with the punches and you did it girl good for you and especially being a female or megan by the way if you ever watch this are you the woman that's in the pictures on awakening in a box on your um website thingy if so you're beautiful and yeah thank you so i will definitely put this to good use i love straws they don't get to your teeth um you know if you drink coffee and you use a straw they won't stain your teeth they'll keep your teeth white i unfortunately found this out this year i'm not even lying to you so i'm um, it's a little too late for that for me but on to, to the box on to the next one on to the next so first thing i see is my oracle deck which I so excited Fairy Godmother by Flavia Kate Peters artwork by Julia Demaya Makim Makham that's just how it looks like it's spelled I don't know 40 cards in guidebook set oh cool so it does come with a guidebook set good let's just open this up here By the way, I got this beautiful crystal, um, quartz crystal pen. I think it's quartz or it's crystal crystal by Goddess Provisions, which they are having a sale on their stuff, um, right now on their Goddess Provisions website, including on their pens. And they also have one that's in amethyst. It's purple crystal amethyst not crystal but you you know what i'm saying guys you know so we're going to look oh <laughs> i love it so the other did i not get crystals um you know what real quick i did write down some stuff from the website just so I would know the price and the name of what I'm opening for you but also I wrote down what it's the description of their um, you know their marketing description thing so emp empowering Oracle box is a monthly box designed to help you build your Oracle deck collection empower you to use your gifts and it includes one oracle deck. If you get the tarot one, that includes one tarot deck. One crystal. Um, or stone. And it is either large or rare. And two products to help you with your practice. And, um they're built around the theme and around the deck of the month so my second product that i see and i just seen it as i was opening my my oracle deck and it just jumped out to me the the letters the letters the word it says as okay it's just like a little um bag a makeup bag a crystal bag i'm probably going to use this what am I going to use this for maybe I don't know 
I mean, really, I don't know what it will be used for, but it will be used. Not by makeup, because I don't, maybe, I don't know. I just don't want it black. I don't want it to get all dirty, because look at how cute it is. It says, enlightened as fuck. That's what AF means, guys. I'm just saying, if you didn't know what that meant, that's why I thought it was so cute, and I had to pick it up, and I was laughing. Enlightened as fuck, guys. I, I am feeling pretty enlightened right now. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, on to my Oracle deck. Let's just look at it real quick. I will not use it right now until I cleanse it with my um, smudging stick that should be coming in the mail, hopefully. That's why I was talking about my smudging stick purchase. Okay. Let's look. Let's look. Okay. It's very dark, though. For being a fairy godmother. Fahi. By the way, it's not spelled fairy as in F-A-I-R-Y. It's spelled F-A-E. You see that? And it's made by Spirit Visions. Or Lulin.com. I don't know. I'm confused. Either way, it's a very dark deck. I mean, it's not dark as in, like, down and dark. It's just black. You see? It's black. And I do like it's gold. And I love the side. You see that? It's gold. There's golden, a golden rim along the whole outside, which is beautiful. Look at this one. The glass slipper as abandonment. Now I get where they're going. It's very, at first I'm like, oh, it's black, but I see it. I see where they're going. And they have the picture of whatever it is to describe the word or, you know, his mouth as much as they can in the mirror. I love that. Oh my God, guys. So the fairy on, oh, it's all different types of fairies at first. I'm like, oh, it's Cinderella's fairy godmother, you know, with the slipper. But then look at, for blossoming, and look, it's inside of that, the, the mirror, the magic mirror, like I was saying. I'm just doing that so you don't have a um, glare. Sorry, I'm holding it up like that. But um, it is the the Good Witch from Wizard of Oz. And then there's Dorothy laying there. And it says blossoming. And it's the poppies when she's sleeping in the poppy field. You see that? And then celebrations. It's the three witches um, from Sleeping Beauty. I just know. You, you can just tell. I'm a very big Disney lover, guys. Companionship is Alice in Wonderland. I don't know what fairy is in, is in Alice in Wonderland, but that's Alice in Wonderland there. So these are fairy tales, basically, is what I'm getting now. Even though it's fairy godmother. I like them. Oh, look, here's Cinderella again with the mice. Discernment. I'm sorry, I'm so into the pictures of these cards. I'm like going into all of the cards. I just, I think they're beautiful. I'm sorry. And here's the little description booklet.
So for example, their description of divine love, the card for divine love, right? in the box the description for divine love in here does it go it does go off of alphabetical order your request has been heard for your one true love so open your heart to the realms up above feelings emerge as you soon realize the person you love is wonderfully wise and has been with you from since time begun. Twas you all along, for you are the one. I freaking adore that right now. I love the fact that this is all in rhyme, and I love that it's saying that basically, well, divine love is loving yourself, right? But it's just ba it's saying that you were your one true love and that we didn't know it. And which basically is true in most cases. Like myself, I didn't know. You keep hearing your whole life, love yourself or you can't love someone else. And you're like, yeah, right. I, I just don't, I don't care about myself, but I care about you. I care about my mom. I care about, you know, like. And then that whole, once you start aging and you care about your boyfriends or girlfriends, whomever you love, more, usually more so than yourself again. And then you reach this certain point in your life, at least I did, and it was through addiction and getting sober, finding that I can't be happy until I find what happiness is for me, you know? And through trying to find happiness, I found love for myself. And it really is a beautiful thing when you find that love within yourself. Guys, don't mind me. I cry all the time. I can't help it. Um... But I like that. And that's not the only description. That was just the real quick description of what the word and the card means. Then it goes more into detail. Um, your Fahi Godmother message. I say it like that because it's spelled differently. I don't know why. Your ego haunts your self-worth and you wonder if you are truly lovable. Your fears associated with love, such as heartbreak, loss, and rejection, have caused your heart chakra to shrink as you have grown guarded and defensive. You may think that this is a form of protection, but your fear has caused you to lose touch with your true essence. Closing your heart shuts off natural intuition as well as the divine guidance that leads you to relationships that honor and support you. Surrender your fears to me and break down your barriers as I heal your wounds and dis dissolve any pain. Focus on, on and breathe in light that radiates, bleh, that radiates with pure divine love from my heart. Accept this healing that extends to you as you hold acceptance and appreciate, appreciation towards yourself. For these are the nutrients that feed your soul. You yourself has the answer, for it is the only answer. When you try to make a decision, always move in the direction that will bring you the most peace. If you have been asking about your love life, then bring good tidings, for your love that you seek is about to be made, made manifest. And you will know when it arrives, for love always looks for the best in others and is recognized in an in instance. Allow me to weave my magic to bring about that satisfaction your heart requires in order to be whole. 
Love is in your true nature, and it is necessary for you to honor the compassion you feel in your heart. When you are trying to be your true, your light shines brightly with divine love, nourishing you from with and inspiring those around you. True love is unwavering in you, I promise, are holy and cherished. Oh, holy cherished. You're not holy. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, I think that was beautiful. And I like the way that it comes off as, like, you're asking your godmother. And your godmother's answering you. Almost. So, that's, that's nice. So, last and final thing in the box is my crystal so let's see what we got and it feels like it's an actual whole piece of like the crystal you know how when you always see like a the, the most one I can think of that I see the most like that is like amethyst always um, or right here where it's like it's natural like cause this is how it is in the caves and stuff you know um, on the side of the walls and then people cut them and then do what not and waste so much of the beauty you know if you think about it all of the pieces of crystals because it's being cut just gets wasted which it's not actually it's just given back to the earth where whom gave it to us so, in a way, it's not. It's recycling what was, was given to us. But um, I feel like it's going to be a big chunk of pieces like this. And I was right. But I don't know what this is. And I really... I really think I'm going to have to ask I'm going to have to ask the um, Megan now that I know her name I'm going to have to ask Megan what this is There, if I hide the black light, you can see the actual color. You know what? Let me turn my black light off, guys. <sighs> can you see that? It's brown. It's different. I don't know. I'm sorry I'm not talking. I'm just... I'm analyzing it because I don't know what it is and the fact that it's brown. It's not tiger eye, is it? No. This is tiger eye. Is this tiger eye, guys? Do you think it's the same? I don't know. I really would like to know what this is, so I am going to message Megan, um, who is the maker of Creator in a Box. But if you guys have any idea on what this crystal is, please message me. Leave some comments below. Let me know. I really would like to know. 
and I'm sure that she's busy and will not be able to get to me um, that fast, you know. Oh my goodness, guys, I forgot I have a crystal book. I got one in my um, goddess provision box. So uh, let's look it up. How about that? So, uh, I don't even know where to start, though. You know, I gotta just, like, go through and look at the pictures. Which may take a minute. A scepter? No. It's very white. Ooh, that's beautiful. I want some of that. A joint. That beautiful blue. It was beautiful. Amber. This is an amber. No way. Amber has long been associated with the protection. Where's... Can it show... It just explains it, but it doesn't show me. It doesn't tell me how to make sure. There's no way this is amber. It's just, I'm just picking all these types of colored stuff. Amethyst. See, as soon as I see amethyst, that's the type of picture. Is it in these shards? Like that. Is there a brown amethyst? Aurora Quartz? No. Uh. Oh, that's beauty. Look at that. Banded Agate. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna pause you and look. Okay, so I am pretty much positive it is definitely a quartz I just don't know if it is smoky quartz or spirit quartz which looks so much the same to me you see that and I think they are pretty much the same just in a different state or a different um, density? I don't know. But look at my stone. Let's cover up that black light again. Can you see that? I don't know. It's pretty much... It, it just looks like the edges of this were broken off, which sucks. That means they weren't careful with that. Or maybe it was cut like that. I don't know. I feel like there should have been at least one edge on that still, but anyway. Or here's the smoky quartz. Look at the colors, guys. Look at the colors. And I don't know if, because look at, there's, and if you look through the light, I don't know if you can see when I hold it up. Um, I can when I hold it to the light. You can see through it and up towards the top, 
Okay, so... Uh, like, this one is a pretty good one to see. This one that my finger's on. Up towards the top. there it gets starts to turn white and clear okay which is why I'm thinking it might be that smoky quartz it looks like ours is at this point where it's cut off right to where it would look like that which is basically what this looks like. That part of it. And then at the top, we get in to getting white. So, I don't know. I'm thinking that's what it is. But then also the spirit quartz looks exactly the same. Where it's that deep color at the bottom and then white at the top, you know? Uh, so I don't know, I really don't. I'm just really having an intuition of it being smoky quartz. Sacred to the ancient Druids and Celts. Smoky quartz symbolized the potent dark power of earth gods and goddesses. A large smoky quartz forms part of the scepter of power of the Scottish royal regala. I don't know if that's how you say it. The stone was an essential ingredient in a magician's toolkit. Dr. D. Queen Elizabeth I's seer had a smoky quartz scrying ball for connecting to the lower worlds controlling the spirits there and adjusting the course of history smoky quartz shields against psychic attack and transmutes negative energies today is invaluable for absorbing electromagnetic smog including wi-fi emanations in geopathic stress Speaks of more Morian, a transparent deep black crystal. Morons are rare, naturally iridated, intense black smoky cortezes, usually will with dolomite or other minerals attached, that synergistically enhance. It's shielding and detoxifying properties. Morions gently heal emotional conditions and overcome lack of trust. I need that. God knows I need that. Other black quartzes may have been artificially eradid eradicated. <laughs> Sorry, I can't read today, guys. And can be radioactive. Like the like heals like principle however suggests that energetic energetic see I can't read normal words that I freaking know okay I'm sorry <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop where I'm at but it says at the bottom realize in a healing grid smoky quartz absorbs disharmonious environmental energy with the point facing out it transmutes negative energy and with the point facing in draws in he healing light I don't know guys the whole thing is brown and white and clear and it's not really dark dark in there so 
It looks like there might be black in these ones. I'm starting to second guess myself. Spirit Quartz, however, um, a new, oh, a comparatively new find from South Africa. Spirit Quartz is now becoming rare with tiny points covering an internal core. Spirit Quartz is the perfect metaphor for the holistic, dynamic, holographic consciousness within each of us. The crystal reminds us, us that the power of the whole is greater than the individuals who compromise it and that we are one interconnected spirit spirit Christ's quartz carries universal love it helps you pinpoint important karmic connections blah -de -blah -de blah i've spent 45 minutes on this box i am sorry guys there was literally four items in it and it spent 45 minutes like I'll do better, I promise. But um, if you are not already, which you're probably not because I don't have many, but like one or two subscribers at this point, I literally just started. Um, but please subscribe if you want to come and hang out with me and see any of my other unboxings. I do get several witchy boxes a month. Um, I get goddess provisions, I get magical folk, and I get um awakening in a box and i also get several beauty subscriptions as in ipsy boxy charm oh i get there box um which is like just a bunch of anything to make you relax or feel good or um i get my boyfriend gets a basic man i buy for him which is just underwear basically um what else do I get? I get so many. I get I get a coffee one, which has not yet come. I get that underwear one. What is it? Splendies. I get too many. Or not enough. It's all how you look at it. It's all how you perceive things in life. Remember that. <laughs> so, I hope you had a good time. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Um... I hope to see you again. Stay safe and love one another and yourself more importantly. <laughs>